Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LE3D Printing, and today we're going to be talking about this Robo C2 compact 3D printer. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I reached out to Robo a while back, actually a couple months ago, and um, I asked them if I could review their printer, and um, they actually responded with a, we'd love to send you a printer for what you do, and to use it in your maker space, and um, that actually really surprised me, but I'm also going to be reviewing it for you guys, because there's a lot of things I want you to know before you go out and buy this printer. So this printer has given me lots of ups and downs, and um, I do have a lot of negative thoughts about them, but I'm not going to spill all of them on this video. Uh, but this printer is also a very, very good printer. So this printer is around $800, I believe. It is a fully compact 3D printer. When you get it, it comes in a giant box. Um, you just need to take the foaming out. It comes with a box right here in the middle. It has your scraper, all your tools you need to fix it. It comes with a little bit of grease for the printer and then also comes with a uh, little spool I believe it's 500 grams or maybe it's 250 grams of um, filament and usually whatever color your printer is is the color you get so if you get the Robo R2 it is red and for the Robo C2 it is blue it is a light blue and actually the very nice blue um, and I really do enjoy that filament and I've actually already used it, it all. So this printer actually has a really small build plate. I believe it's only 150 by 150 by 150. So it is definitely um, really, really expensive for the amount of build space you actually get. But there is a lot of good things with the printer. It has a Raspberry Pi in it so you can use OctiPrint to hook up to your computer. You can do a whole bunch of different um, settings and cool things with OctiPrint which is really good. Um, because a lot of people would buy the Raspberry Pis to get Octoprint on their printers to do some cool things. They also have a touch screen down here. It is a little harder to actually use. You sometimes have to double tap things. It comes with a um, little stylus, but that there shouldn't, you shouldn't have to use a stylus with a touch screen thing. It also comes with a Robo USB stick. They do not use um, US, uh, SD card. They use a USB uh, stick, which is actually really cool. There are lights in it. Um, it is a actually really super easy printer to use. You just turn it on in the back and then press preheat and then you usually just put your g-code in there. They do have a lot of g-codes in there um, but the prints that they have already set up for you do waste a lot of filament which I realized when I printed some of theirs they had maybe some of them were 100% infill or 90 or something like that so definitely um, make sure that you don't put a lot of your filament in there unless you slice it and when you do put it in a slicer for example Kira you do not need a start or an NG code it all is in this printer it's all programmed in there so you definitely don't need that all you do is slice the printer or the print and plug it in there and press print and it'll go so the problems I've actually had with this printer I had to actually send it back to them because it did break so um, the nozzle is a little weird um, and uh, you can actually take, unscrew the screw that holds in the extruder or the hot end um, to get an unclog out, but then mine stripped and it got stuck and it uh, just got really clogged, nothing worked, um, the bed was warped and it was just really weird. I don't know if that was just my printer. Uh, I did eventually have to send it back to them. They do give you a one year warranty on this once you register it online and it also comes with a one year free subscription of Fusion 360 which I might actually be giving out to you guys because I did finally hit 2,000 subscribers and I actually now have two of those so I might be giving those out uh, because I already do have an account on Fusion 360 for myself but yeah so this bed you should be able to take it out and um, flex it that's why it is removable but I feel like after I would flex it it would just bend it would warp and it would be uneven to print on as you can see there's already been digging in here because um, just the nozzle was too close in one direction and then it was way too far on the other side of the build plate there's just a lot of frustration with this printer which I did not expect at all because this company is a great company they have um, good customer service they're great workers there uh, and I usually just thought that their printers would be great because they're fully compact they're nice they have um, very great settings and everything but honestly I don't know why I got maybe a bad printer so there's also one really cool thing about this printer which I actually haven't tested out because I haven't needed to is there is a filament sensor on the back here so it's actually a direct extruder so you can use a lot of filament on there I use um, flex on there sometimes and 
Some people think you need a heated bed for um, flexible filament, which you definitely don't. I have actually am printing flexible filament right now, TPU, on my TiVo Michelangelo, which has no heated bed, and it actually works really amazing. Um, so I do use my flexible filament on this, and there's a filament runout sensor on the back, so it's a direct extruder. And then they just have a Bowden tube just to make sure the filament doesn't get caught or everything. There are also some really cool things on Thingiverse that um, people have printed out like this uh, hook for a GoPro, which I actually added a phone mount to, so you can do time lapses on there. Again, like I mentioned, it has LED lights on it, which is really nice. Um, it is actually a super loud printer. Um, I could hear it all the way from my room, which is on the other side of the house over there, which is really weird, so if you want to use this at night, make sure you put it in a different room. I um, mean, it is very bright because of the LED lights, but Overall, it is a good and a bad printer. I do use it sometimes. I honestly don't use it as much as I use all my other printers over there just because I never know if it's going to give out on me. You just have to make sure one thing when you take out your extruder uh, hot end, as you can see right here, kind of. I just took a plate off. I'll show you guys up close. Um, but when you unscrew the screw and take it out, you have to make sure when you put it back in, you screw that screw really tight, but not too tight that it strips when you try to take it out. I had that very big problem that was so frustrating it didn't even work for like three weeks I had it for maybe one week and then I it just broke and then I had to send it back eventually but then they gave it back to me and um, it has been working since then but the bed is still weird so one thing I do recommend is do not flex the bed um, when you first get it because you'll basically destroy it uh, and yeah that's just destroying this bed is hard I'm not sure maybe you would be able to maybe get a piece of wood and make a replica of this and put it on there. Not sure if that would work or not, if your bed just got destroyed. But again, they do have a one year warranty on this, which is really awesome. Um, again, they're super supportive. So uh, let's turn this thing on and I'll show you guys what everything looks like up close. All right guys, so this is the cool, awesome um, Robo C2 Compact 3D printer. And again, it is an up and down printer for me, but um, overall, it just eventually turned on. I think the first problem of mine actually was down here on the LCD screen. When I first got it, my LCD screen actually never worked. Um, it was something wrong with the US or the uh, mini uh, SD card in the Raspberry Pi that's in here. So I actually had to get them to send me a new one of those. That was my first problem, but I believe that was just a mess up in manufacturing and whatever. Um, but down here, as you can see, there is a temp control and basically I just press preheat and PLA and like that. Um, settings are super easy. This is over here, the files, and there's um, storage on here. There's actually 7.3 gigabytes of storage and there's also your uh, USB stick which has all of these. Um, again, I have to double tap for everything to actually make it work. And when you go over here to utilities, there is a network setting. When you first get this, you need to go configure Wi-Fi and um, there's just a whole bunch of setup stuff. You sign in, and uh, that's how you get the network working. And you want to make sure you have all the updates updated. Um, I believe this one's up to date. It is um, 2.0 and then C 2.6. And there's a wizard here, and you can change the filament. You can load filament, um, set the Z offset, or fine tune the Z offset. Um, there's this is just a super easy super easy printer to actually use. It does a lot of it for you. It has everything laid out for you. And there's a nice manual that actually has all the information written down on how to use it and how to set it up. It's super easy. You can also use it on your phone. Um, there's an app for it. I f believe it's just called Robo 3D. And um, you can also move the printer head with this manual down here. Um, let's see what can move the bed up. And um, again, it is a little loud, but I just believe that's how it is. As you can see, the stepper motors are over here. Um, I overall actually like how it's compact and it doesn't need anything extra on the back. There's a filament holder um, and I'll show you guys up here. This is just the extruder down here. It goes through here and goes directly into the hot end. And this is the Bowden tube that's just connected to the um, sensor over here on the left. And then that a thing on the right is where the filament is held. These are all the rails. Everything is just nicely moved. You need to always make sure that your belts are tight. Um, 
And yeah, overall, this is actually a really good compact 3D printer. So the overall question is, do I recommend this 3D printer? So if you um, actually have a lot of money to invest on a 3D printer, uh, definitely go ahead and buy this printer. Again, they do have a year warranty on it, and you do get your money back if it does break or whatever. Um, but honestly, in my opinion, I don't recommend this printer as anybody's first printer. It is definitely more difficult than expected. Maybe that just happened to me, but it could happen to you. Um, but overall, if this would be your first 3D printer, you definitely want to make sure you know what you're going into, like I actually just mentioned in my last video. Um, my tips video, but I definitely don't recommend this as someone's first 3D printer just because it is super expensive and you don't get the best build plate. Um, it does have a very good build quality and the cooling fans and everything are really cool, but I believe there are better and cheaper printers out there for a first 3D printer or for basically any 3D printer. Um, I'm not sure why these printers are so expensive. Maybe it's because they have a Raspberry Pi or an OctiPi um, built into it, uh, but Honestly, I don't get why it's that expensive, but again, it is actually a great printer once you get it working. If you had any problems with it, you'll eventually get it to work with their customer service. They will always get back to you. They will always talk to you and try to figure it out. Um, I believe they'll give you your money back if you want to return it or anything. If I'm not right about that, I'm sorry. Um, but again, this is actually a great printer once you get it working. And so definitely go check it out if you want to invest in something like this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one, but it was a little review that I've actually been um, held up on for a while now. I've been doing a whole bunch of other things, but I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link in the description to this printer so you guys can go check it out, go do some research on it. Robo also has a uh, Robo R2, which is actually a giant 3D printer. It has an enclosure so you can print um, different filaments like ABS and hips. It also has a heated bed, which is great. So definitely go check that printer out. Um, and there's lots of reviews on that printer and also this printer. So make sure you go check those videos out also. If you guys are here at the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. Thank you again for sticking around and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.